As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. It is a gorgeous day just looking out my window here. Here, let me let me show you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but pretty day out there. And I'm happy to be in here. We made a bunch of sales again. Everything is selling like crazy. Matter of fact, we sold an item within five minutes of listing it. That's happened a lot lately. Part of it is due to the fact I'm putting pretty decent competitive prices on them, but there just are a lot of sales. And one of those items that sold is something that I kind of like and, and toyed with the idea of keeping. But I want to know from you, how many of you guys out there are selling things immediately, almost immediately, after you list them and what kind of things are you selling i'm kind of in this bubble you get to see me and see what i'm selling every day but i don't always get to see what you're doing and i would love to hear from you uh, preferably in the comments because i can get to those i don't always respond to every single comment but i read like 99.9 percent .9 of them and it is interesting for me to be able to look and to see what you guys are selling out there and to see what's selling quickly Anyway, we did sell quite a few things, and I'm just going to walk through and grab a couple real quick, and then we'll let you see what sold, and I'll show you that item that sold really, really quickly, and how much it sold for. It was a really nice little uh, profit for us, so let's take a look. All right, the first one is right here. Grab that, put that over there. Hey, since I'm right here and I have this, just want to give a big, giant thank you to Steven, who was kind enough to say, hey, I got a bunch of plates in my eBay store. Why don't you pick one out? And I didn't have one from New Hampshire. This one is awesome. And I will definitely find a place for it for sure. Thank you, Steve. All right. We did sell some Legos. And we should be seeing some Lego sales here pretty quick. These are not vintage. These came from a very early garage sale video that we did. And uh, Blue Ridge Mama's been listing some that are vintage. We sold some Harley boots. And if I can remember, I can't remember. I think it's this one think yep those are the ones i knew i put there was two different sets of harley boots grab those my iowa plate there sold something if i can remember these probably are in i think they're in this one look at that right there I just remember that because we just changed that one out the other day. And we sold some puzzles. And we sold this guy right here. He's only been here for a day or two. Hey, let's start with these. Bananagrams. They're just like, a, I've never played the game. It's like a Scrabble tile kind of thing. We've picked these up three or four times over the years. This one I picked up from a garage sale, if I can remember. Something like we filled the truck up at this garage sale or garage sale, we filled the truck up. And if you've been watching a while, Daniel was with us at that garage sale. We happened to run into him there. And I think I paid a buck for it. So for $6.95 plus shipping. So it's, you know, it's about a $5 profit. Had some Legos sell. This is an under two pound lot, $9.95 plus shipping on these. This is nothing special at all. There's just some Legos that I picked up. I think I actually picked it up on the way home from a garage sale at a Goodwill. But we do have some Lego stuff coming out here pretty quick that's really, really cool. I paid 15 bucks for a full box of Lego stuff. And my wife, Blue Ridge Mama, took a bunch of time figuring it all out, putting it all together, seeing what was there. And I think it's going to pay off. These Harley boots are from the one that we did not too long ago. Garage sale deals. These people were ready to sell. And if you remember, we bought all kinds of Harley stuff. And these were some good ones too. So this isn't amazing. They need new shoestrings. And they're in pretty darn good condition though, I have to say. $25 plus shipping. And I think that's more than we paid for everything we bought at that particular table. So that one's going to pay off for sure. 
Harley stuff just flat sells. Those aren't even really good boots at all. Matter of fact, they're kind of lower end boots and they still went for $25 plus shipping and you can get some really good Harley boots. You can get 50, 80, 100, $200 for a pair of Harley boots. All right, if you can believe it or not, this is a sham wow. <laughs> and I had, I can't remember exactly where I got these to be honest, but there was a few different lots of them. And this is the first one that has sold. 1280 plus shipping. That's how much we got for these two. 1280 plus shipping. So I can't remember how many I paid for the three lots, but I can pretty much tell you that there's no way I paid more than a dollar per set. And I got three sets. So this is going to be pretty nice. In the end, we'll probably make 35 to $40 when all three sets of the ShamWow sell. All right, if you can believe it, not only did we sell those three Utah puzzles, we sold the fourth one as well. And we've sold a lot of these to viewers, but this is not a viewer sale, at least not that I'm aware of. Four Utah puzzles we paid 99 cents a piece. And they are all going out to the same person. I think the total sale was right around $56. So this right here is going to be a big payday for us, especially for items that we're having a hard time to sell. And we're almost out of them at this point. So that is an awesome sale. All right, and this next one is kind of near and dear to my heart. I love these things. I'm a history teacher, and I love keeping these things in my classroom because the kids love them. So let me show it to you. All right, so here's the phone. even has the little shoulder holder for it. It's in really good condition. This is a touch tone. You normally see the dial ones. I have one of these on my desk at school, and they come up, and they're like, how does this work? <laughs> this I think they can figure out. But the dial ones are pretty cool. But the touch tone ones are selling as well, and people are actually restoring these and putting them in their offices and uh, using them. Now, this one looks to be... I haven't tested it, obviously but it looks to be in great shape. My guess is this thing does work. I didn't claim that, but I bet it does. Just a little hint here, just like the Coleman lanterns, if you turn them over, you can find the date there, 376. So that's uh, one year before I was born. And you can figure that out. And usually underneath the phone itself right here, it'll give you the brand. This is Western Electric. This sold very quickly right after I listed it, maybe within five minutes or so, if I remember. I could be wrong about that. And it sold for full price, $45 plus shipping. And I think I picked it up for 2 or $3, if I remember the sale that I picked it up from. I really did consider keeping that one because I love it and I would like to put it somewhere in my classroom. But it was too good of a deal right now, I think, to not list. So I love that sale. All right, we're gonna get the homeschool hustlers either in here, we're gonna go back in the eBay cave and we're gonna check them out in there. And I know we have some sales in the eBay cave, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll come back in here and look at the homeschool hustler sale after that, I guess. But since I'm talking about that already, is there anything you've sold lately under five minutes? So tell me in the comments, what have you sold that took under five minutes to sell? Well, welcome back into the eBay cave in here. I think we have three sales in here. One is kind of cool and I'm happy that it's gone because it's been here for a while, even though it's something I, I kind of like. I don't really collect them, but I don't mind picking them up because I think they're cool for some crazy reason. And then we had a couple of Inaman sales as well. Let's take a look. All right, so here is that item I'm talking about. It is a, I, I think this would be probably an early 70s ashtray is my guess. I don't think there's any markings on it. Actually, there is something. Arnis? I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of cool. And, and I think I got this one at the Joyous Junk Sale, which it looks like, unless things change here, that one's going to have to be postponed a little bit. And it is a really good one. And I can't wait to go to it whenever they have it. I bought a ton of ashtrays. Sold them either here or sold them in the antique booth. I think this is my last ashtray from that lot that I still have. I think there might be a few still left at the antique booth, which... Nobody can get into because it's closed. We do need to go ahead and do an antique video. We never did one for the last month and, uh, and a couple weeks before they shut down. And I got to get Blue Ridge Mama to do an antique video and we'll put it on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Anyway, this one sold for $16 plus shipping. And this actually, I sent an offer out. I don't often send offers out, but I have been doing a little bit more lately on some of the older items. And I did it on this one. I think it was listed for $19.95. And I sent an offer out for 18 and somebody said, hey, how about 16? 
I thought about it for a while because I think it had a few watchers on it. And I'm like, yeah, it'll probably get, I'm like, whatever. Just take it, get it out of here. And it's $16 plus shipping. What do you think of that thing? That is just wonderfully hideous right there. What do you think? A couple of Animan going out, one going out to Caleb and one going out to Christopher. Thank you so much. And we hope they bring you some great luck. Had a Coleman, I call it the Christmas tree shirt. I don't know, it's just how I identify them. Size medium. I don't think this went out to a viewer. They often do go out to viewers, but this one did not. $17.95, free shipping. We should make a little bit more than we normally make on these. They've been going for the 16s, but this one went full price with no sale, with no discount. And we should make around $7 profit on this one, which is pretty good. I think I have seven more. It says I have seven more of these available, so... It was out in the Commonwealth cabin, but I figured I had to do a little shipping in here and I forgot to put it on the other video, so I grabbed it and brought it in here. All right, we got two in a man going out. This is going out to Debbie, and Debbie, this is going out to your daughter as well. She says, so excited to get these. We love your videos. We watch you every day. My daughter and I each have our own eBay stores. Love the in a man. Would you please sign both of them? We look forward to the shows, and we have learned so much. So thank you so much, Debbie, and to your daughter, and we wish you the best of luck out there. Let me show you something. So I pulled these out. My daughter pre-does these, and this is a pack of two for people that order two. And I pulled it out, but I didn't see that you wanted them signed. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get rid of that one. And uh, we'll send a couple signed ones out to you. So thanks so much, Debbie. And last but not least, and this is kind of sad because I love golf and I, I don't play much golf. I used to play a little bit. I don't play as much as I used to. It's a little pricey, to be honest with you. It takes up a lot of time, but I love it. And I love watching the Masters. And I've sold... <laughs> hundreds of masters items over the years this isn't the best shape masters hat i've ever sold and we sold it at a pretty good price and i'm happy because it's going out to a viewer it's going out to patrick and patrick says that he is a regular viewer thank you for your youtube content and what you do in the classroom well thank you patrick we do appreciate it and he gives his uh ebay name here pkw underscore picks p-i-c-k-s and we hope you enjoy the hat and we appreciate the support all right, thanks as always for joining us. We're going to go back out there, probably unless we've already done it, and do a homeschool hustler sale and let, I think, Turner's going to talk to you about what sold out of the homeschool hustler store today. But before we go back out there, I just want to say thank you as always for joining us. And if you would, tell me what it is that you are selling right now. What's selling quickly? What have you sold in, say, the last week that has sold in under five minutes? Is there anything out there that's sold in under five minutes for you? So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. All right, we got Turner here. Got a homeschool hustler. Turner, what's that little guy? Roly-poly-oly. It's roly-poly-oly. You got it. And this one is going out to a viewer, and his name is Michael. And Turner, this one is actually going to go out to his two-month-old son. And his name is Elijah River. Isn't that a great name? Elijah yeah. River. Sounds like a movie star, I know. huh? <laughs> and thank you all so much for that. It's KY Picker 1854 on eBay. And take a look over here, Turner. And I think that is his YouTube channel right there. So thanks so much. We appreciate it. Well, I guess she's doing good. She doesn't normally look for trouble. How you doing, girl? Not something I would typically suggest somebody do, but you know what? When you're at home 24 hours a day, and my wife loves to do this stuff, she went ahead and did it. So amazing, and we're going to make some really good money. I think I paid $15 for this box of Legos, and there are going to be at least four sets. And I think each one, well, it depends on how we sell them, but we're going to make, let's just say hundreds at this point. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out exactly how much we're going to make. She spent uh, the good part of an afternoon doing this so far.